Hi everyone. In this video, I will be reading a fanfic based on That's So Raven. I call it Watch Out Devon. So, little information here. The fanfics that are based off the original series are where I ship together Raven and Devon. And the fanfics based more on Raven's home are where I ship Eddie and Raven. Um, and everything. So <laughs> this is based on the original, so it'll be a Raven Devon uh, relationship thing. So anyway, let's get on with the story. Call it Watch Out Devon. Here we go. Raven, Chelsea, Eddie, and Devon are in the gym at school. Yes, I hit record. Raven has a vision. Raven yells urgently, Duck, Devon! Devon's confused, What? Raven louder yells, Duck, now! Raven ducks, and ju just in time. <sighs> because just seconds later, a medicine ball passes over his head. So I know, I believe it's what that's called, what it's, it's called a medicine ball. Basically what I'm referring to is a weighted ball for like workouts and stuff. We, we had them in like our gym's weight room because our gym had a weight room that was kind of above the gym in our high school so I don't know if every high school had them but anyway that's what I'm referring to is the weighted ball that uh, some gyms have. I think they're called medicine balls. I could be wrong but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, anyway that's just a side note to clarify. Back to the story now. Devon is confused. That's weird. It's as if you knew that would happen. Raven nervously. What? That's crazy. How would I know that would happen? Devon realizing she's got a point. I guess you're right. Thanks for the heads up, though, says uh, Devon. Water break. <clears throat> Okay, it's 4.08, all right, uh, in the afternoon. Just clarify, I have something I gotta get done at 4.30, so. Uh, anyway, thanks for the heads up, though. Raven Siren says, oh, no problem. The next day, in the school hallway, is Raven, Chelsea, Eddie, and Devon. Raven, are you working on any new designs? Asked Devon. Yeah, it's this fall-inspired piece. Ray? Ray? Says Devon. Uh, Devon question, uh, wonders, what's going on, guys? Oh, that's her vi- uh, <laughs> Says Chills, uh, catches herself. I mean, her thinking face. Eddie mumbles, nice save. <laughs> Eddie fist bumps Chills. Good, Raven, you're back, says Devon. You were going to finish your sentence in a minute. First, Devon, move uh, two feet to your left. Okay, but why? Just trust her, says Eddie. You won't regret it, <laughs> says Eddie. Devon moves and avoids a group of students running laps in the uh, running laps for gym class. How'd you know to warn me about that? Raven, nervously in her high-pitched voice. Well, <laughs> it's not because I'm psychic, because psychics don't exist. Okay, says Devon. <laughs> Getting back on topic. What type of clothing is your fall-inspired piece? Oh, it's going to be a flowy dress. Well, it's probably going to look beautiful. Knowing someone beautiful made it, says Devon. <laughs> Raven blushing. Oh, thank you, handsome. <laughs> okay, I forgot that's how I wrote, wrote that. Um, Devon blushing. Thank you, Ray. 
Yvonne happily. You're the best girlfriend ever. Raven blushing. And you're the best boyfriend ever. The next day in the school's gym is Raven, Charles, Eddie, and Yvonne. So they are, they're already a couple in this. Raven's still in the changing room. The others are in the gym. Devon wonders, is it just me or is Ray hiding something from me? Uh, says Eddie, just you. <laughs> Devon looks at Chels. Hmm, Chels, is she keeping something from me? Chels tells, but not revealing. Maybe she is and maybe she isn't. But if you want to know, you're going to have to ask her. Tip, her telltale sign she's lying is a high-pitched voice. Thanks for the tip, says Devon. Wait, wasn't she talking like that yesterday when she mentioned the psychic thing? What? <laughs> says Eddie. No, that's just her nervous voice, not her lying voice. There's, they're similar, so it's easy to mistake. Okay, says Devon. Raven happily says, hi guys. And the three uh, nicely respond in unison. Hi. Devon investigating. Hey, have you been keeping secrets from me, Ray? What? No, that's impossible. Tell me the truth. I wish I could. Why can't you? Attempting to make him drop it. Because I can't, all right? Just leave. Has a vision. Leave what? Sorry, I meant to say leave it alone. Uh, Raven asks, do you want a 20 pound weight uh, to fall on... Do you want a 20 pound weight on your foot? Confused and surprised, Devon's like, what? Of course not. Why, why ask? Can't explain, but if you don't want that to happen, I strongly suggest you move your right foot to anywhere but where it currently is now. Okay. Devon moves his foot just in the nick of time. What? <laughs> Sorry. What? How'd you know that would happen? Charles nudging Ray with her shoulder. Tell him. Tell me what exactly, says Devon. <clears throat> I can't tell you here, says Raven. But Charles is correct. You should know. So come to my place after school today. There I will explain everything. Okay, will do. Later that day, at the Baxter's place. You gonna tell me what's going on with you or not, Ray? <clears throat> I know it's hard to believe, says Raven. Water break, sorry. Sorry. Ugh, stretch. Okay. Back to the story now. Raven says, readying herself is what I meant to say there. I know it's hard to believe, but the truth is I'm psychic, says Raven. You may have noticed that I pause and stare off into the distance quite often. Wait, you're a psychic? asked Devon. And yeah, I have noticed the pause and stare a few times. What is up with that? Yeah, we call that her vision face, says Eddie. Wait, you knew? says Devon. And who's we? Eddie confesses, yes, and I was referring to, referring to me and Chels. And Raven's immediate family. So what you're saying is, when you pause and stare, aka your vision phase, you're having a vision? Correct, says Charles. She is unable to control when her visions, it autocorrected it to ideas, uh, happen yet. <laughs> so they're, they are completely random. 
Exactly, says Raven. These past few days, they've been <sighs> warning me about... They were been warning me that you were about to get hurt. So that's how you knew? And why you were able to warn me? Exactly, says Raven. Now you must promise not to tell anyone else outside of this house that I'm psychic. Your secret's safe with me, says Devon. Devon, trusting, says, I promise not to say a word to anyone else about this. Raven happily, great. I hope I can trust you. Don't worry, you can, says Devon. Great, says Raven. So Raven is relieved that she no longer has to keep the psychic secret from Devon. Both are very happy that there are no more secrets between them. The end of Watch Out, Devon! Uh, so I kind of got the idea of her warning him before he would get injured. And that's how he would end up finding out that she was psychic. Because he was warning her. Or she was warning him, sorry. Because she was warning him and everything. <laughs> About, you know, that kind of stuff. So that was kind of my idea of how he could find out that she was psychic. But the spinoff does reveal that uh, he found out when he proposed to her. So, or the second spinoff, sorry, um, does reveal that. Devon does find out uh, because he's about to propose to Raven. And she's like, I do, before he proposes. Because <laughs> she knew it. She's had a vision of it happening. So, uh, but that was just an idea I had of how that reveal could have gone. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching.